Hello again, everyone. Today we are looking again at Newton's third law. We're gonna be focusing today on the action-reaction pair of forces. So what I want you to remember about these is that they are opposites. So the arrows are always going to be pointing opposite directions for these force pairs. So when you look at these practice problems, I want you to always think of opposites. So the arrows always need to go the opposite directions and we're always going to be rearranging the words so they're going opposite ways. So let's look at some problems that we'll be working on today. Okay, so uh, we're gonna identify the action force and the reaction force here, okay? So it says the bat hits the ball. So if the bat is hitting the ball, I want you to notice how these arrows look, okay? So the ball is hitting the bat and the bat is hitting the ball and they have opposite forces, okay? So if the bat hits the ball, the opposite of that is the ball hits the bat, okay? So we're always thinking opposites. Here we have the man pushing the car, so the arrow would go this way. The reaction force would be coming back this way. It would be the opposite, so the car pushes the man. This one says, the bus hits the bug. There's the little tiny bug. And the opposite, the bug hits the bus. All right, now you're starting to see how this works. So they're opposites from each other. Okay, pause the video, try the next three, and then when you're done, Unpause it to see if you got them correct. Okay, so the next one, the baseball pushes the glove leftwards. So the opposite is going the other way. So here, the glove pushes the ball rightwards. Okay, this one, the bowling ball pushes the pin leftwards. So the opposite of that is that the pin pushes the ball rightwards. Okay, so we're just changing the direction. Okay, this one, enclosed air particles push the balloon walls outwards. So here, the balloon walls push the air particles inwards. Okay, the next section here, question two, says use the diagram to determine the direction of forces. So if we look at this, we know that foot A is pushing in and the ball is pushing out. The same thing for foot C, it's pushing in and the ball is pushing out. Okay, so it says foot A pushes the ball to the right. and ball B pushes foot A to the left. It's gonna be opposites again, okay? Now on the other side, foot C pushes ball B to the left, and ball B pushes foot C to the right. Okay, let's look at our next diagram. It says, use the diagram to determine the action and reaction forces. Fill in the blanks below with the reaction forces. The elephant's feet push back on the ground. So the ground pushes forward on the elephant's feet. The right rope pulls leftward on the elephant's body. It's 
body pulls rightward on the right rope. The right rope pulls rightward on the man. So the man pulls leftward on the right rope. The left rope pulls leftward on the man. So the man pulls rightward on the left rope. The tractor pulls leftward on the left rope. The left rope pulls rightward on the left rope. Okay, so we're just switching everything just like we did for question number one. Okay, let's look at question four. Question four says, many people are familiar with the fact that rifles recoil when fired. This recoil is the result of the action-reaction force pairs. A gunpowder explosion creates hot gas that expands outward, allowing the rifle to push forward on the bullet. Consistent with Newton's third law of motion, the bullet pushes backwards upon the rifle. The acceleration of the recoiling rifle is greater than the acceleration of the bullet, smaller than the acceleration of the bullet, or the same as the acceleration of the bullet. So remember, Newton's third law is equal but opposite. Okay, so if it's equal, that means the forces are the same size. So we're going to choose C. Okay, question five. For years, space travel was believed to be impossible because there was nothing that rockets could push off in space in order to provide the propulsion necessary to accelerate. This inability of the rocket to provide propulsion is because space is void of air, so the rockets have nothing to push off of. Gravity is absent in space. Space is void of air, so there is no air resistance in space. Nonsense. Rockets do accelerate in space and have been able to do so for a long time. Number six. In the top picture, in the picture below, Kent Budget is pulling upon a rope that is attached to a wall. In the bottom picture, Kent is pulling on a rope that is attached to an elephant. In each case, the force on the scale reads 500 newtons. Kent is pulling. With more force when the rope is attached to the wall, with more force when the rope is attached to the elephant, the same force. Okay, look, if this is 500 and this is 500, that has to be the same amount of force. All right, let's look at seven. While driving down the road, a firefly strikes the windshield of a bus and makes a quite obvious mess in the front of the face of the driver. This is a clear case of Newton's third law of motion. The firefly hits the bus and the bus hits the firefly. Which of the two forces is greater? The force on the fly, the force on the bus, or they are the same? Remember, Newton's third law says they're equal and opposite. So that's going to be the same. Identify the action-reaction fair, fair force pairs by drawing arrows in each of the following diagrams. Okay, so remember for all of these, the arrows are pointing like this. Okay, so the man pushes on the ball and the ball pushes back on the man. Okay, um, for the foot, the foot is pushing backwards on the floor and the floor is pushing forwards on the foot. And the ball and the foot, this is just like the other one we looked at. The foot pushes on the ball and the ball pushes back on the foot. 
Okay, number nine. As you sit in your seat in the physics classroom, the earth pulls down on your body with a gravitational force. The reaction force is the chair pushing upwards on your body with an equal magnitude. Okay, so the earth is pulling down and the chair is pushing up with equal forces. So that would be true. All right, I hope this helped you to understand the action reaction fear force pairs a little bit better. Um, so have a great day.